What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. I am super pumped about this recipe. One of my favorite foods as a child, as a wee lad, was chicken strips. I would order them almost every time we went to a restaurant. Some people ordered steak, some people would order a hamburger. I was a chicken strip guy. So when I found this recipe, I knew it was meant to be. We were gonna make this on the channel and hopefully it's enjoyable. Like I always say, I don't make these recipes up. These are recipes that I find online that I then make and then try out and let you guys know if they're any good. And this one's supposed to be good for meal prep, supposed to be good for five to seven days after you make them, and it's supposed to taste pretty dang close to what you'd order at your favorite restaurant. So if you guys are ready to get this epic recipe video underway, then as always, I'm here to cook for you. Let's do it! This is actually a very simple recipe to make, which is one of the reasons why I decided to try it on the channel. The easier the recipe, the easier it is to prepare, the more likely you are to make it and stick with your diet. So here it goes, guys. For our breading, we are gonna use some almond flour. You can save traditional almonds if you want and blend them up in a blender and make your own, but I'm a little too lazy for that. So I just went ahead and bought this at the store. This is gonna allow us to have a breading that is low carb, still allowing us to get some healthy fats in and keeping this recipe overall healthy, right? You will also need four large eggs. We're gonna be using two full eggs and two egg whites. We will be mixing them in, separating the yolk, this is gonna be our little dippy batter. We're gonna dip the chicken in to make sure the breading and everything soaks up and sticks to it before we bake it. And then adding into the almond flour, we also have ourselves some black pepper, pretty basic, some seasoned salt. Gonna be using some garlic powder as well for that flavor. And then the optional ingredient, you can kind of add in whatever you want here if you're trying to get different flavors for this, but I decided to use a hot chicken wing style seasoning, still zero calories, gonna give these a little spicy kick. I love my food spicy, guys. And then last, but certainly not least, we got ourselves some boneless, skinless chicken tenders. If you live by a Kroger, they actually sell these packs that already have the fat and everything trimmed off of them. So literally, you're getting a pure protein source, super easy to prepare, and like I said, make recipes like this a pinch. So if you guys are ready, let's get to cooking. First, we're gonna mix up our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna take 88 grams or four servings of my almond flour and place them in this bowl right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my seasoned salt and we're gonna add about half a teaspoon to this dry mix. Boom. And then next up, we need one teaspoon of garlic powder. So we'll get down in here, grab it, and there we go. And we're also gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper as well. And then the optional ingredient for some added flavor, I'm using my hot chicken wing style seasoning here. Found this today, so I'm excited to see how it works. We're gonna be using about one and a half teaspoons. So we'll throw one in here, and then we'll take our half, throw it in there as well. Once all your ingredients are in the bowl, you're gonna go ahead and mix them up. And once it's all mixed up, you can go ahead and put it off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and take our eggs and split them up and put them in here for our wet mixture. And there is the final egg. Now we need to get two of these egg yolks out of here. You could leave them in if you want, but we're trying to make them match a little better, so we'll go ahead and take a little spoon. This is how I like to do them, fish them out, let that drip off, and bingo. And ah, there you go, delicate art. Once that's done, we'll go in and mix these together. Now, everything is almost ready. We're gonna go ahead and get the pan that we're gonna place these on and bake them in, and we're gonna hit it with a light layer of cooking spray. Make sure this doesn't stick to it. And then now it's time to get our breading applied. So you'll take one of your chicken strips here, and you're gonna dip it down in this batter like so, letting it stick to it. Once you get a decent little coating on it, you're gonna move it over here into the breading bowl, where you will then let this coating stick to it. Get it nice and thick on there. That's about good enough, and then we will take it and place it on our pan. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and do that with the remainder of these chicken strips and then it's time to throw them in the oven. And there you have it guys. We have all of our chicken strips breaded and ready to go. We ran out of the breading a little bit down here towards the end, but we still got enough on there to add some good flavor. But we got about a pound of chicken breast right here all ready to go. So let's throw this in the oven, taste test, see how it turns out. Now we preheated the oven to 375 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and place these in here for about 20 to 25 minutes. Set ourselves a little time timer so we don't forget we'll go ahead and do 25 and I'll check on them with about five minutes left mm. and these are officially done let's take a oh these look incredible oh my gosh uh, hopefully you guys are ready for this would you get a load of these things, guys? Look at how that turned out. Isn't that just gorgeous? And once I go over the macros on these guys, you will be pleasantly surprised. So let's go ahead, throw these on a plate and see exactly how they stack up. And all right, guys, it is officially time to give these things a test. They look amazing. They definitely passed the visual test because these things look incredible. So let's go ahead. I got me some jalapeno mustard here, by the way, for dipping. But the first bite, we are not going to do any sauce with. We're just gonna try it out. So, ooh, smells good too. You guys ready? Three, two, one. 
Holy cow. That is way better than I expected. Not super crunchy, having that hot sauce in there gives it a nice little spicy kick at the end. 10 out of 10, we'll be making these again. <laughs> that rhymed. Mmm, that is incredible. Add a little bit of sauce to the equation, dip, dip, and game changer, guys. Mmm, look at that, look at that. I think this is gonna be something I start making quite a bit of from here on out. Mm. Let me set this off to the side, we'll go over macros. In the entire recipe, so if you make a pound of chicken and use the breading and the eggs and everything that I did exactly how I did it, and you ate the entire recipe, you would have 42 grams of fat, you would have 28 grams of carbs, and 128 grams of protein. If you take this entire recipe and split it into four serving sizes at 112 grams a serving, you will be at about 10 grams of fat, seven grams of carbohydrates, and 32 grams of protein. And then out of all of those macros in this entire recipe, there's still 12 grams of fiber. We didn't have to fry this, so it didn't add any unhealthy fats, and literally all the fat we are getting in this recipe is coming from healthy sources, like almonds. So dip and these are like a game changer. I don't know how I've never done these before. Mmm. Pump for you guys to try this. Try this ASAP. Like I said, the ingredients, there's not many of them. I'll put a list in the description box below you guys can check out if you want to make this yourselves, but these are insane. Insanely good. Mm. Definitely gets the double seal of approval. Please try this, comment down below, let me know what you guys thought of it. Like I said, incredible recipe, easy to make, adds a little bit of spice to some bland chicken if you're getting tired of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoy these recipe videos, you enjoy my videos in general, or you wanna help support the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It's that thumbs up button, helps me out more than you know. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. We do videos like this all the time. And if you leave a comment down below with any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, I always read through them. So I appreciate your feedback. With that, I'm out of here. Thank you guys so very, very much for all your support. And as always, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you can be making better. With that, I am out of here. This has been a Remington James production, and I'll see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.